let's turn your Android or iOS device into a webcam. We will be installing Irian webcam app on your Android phone or your iOS phone and its desktop client on your laptop or PC. So step one, download the app from the link below to the Play Store or from the App Store if you're on iOS or search for Irian 4K webcam on Play Store. Once you have installed the app on your device, let it be and now switch to your laptop or PC. Step 2. Now we go to irian.com that is i-r-i-u-n.com and download their client for any OS of your choice whether it be Windows, Mac OS or Ubuntu. The installation is simple and make sure you select one in number of cameras. You can select two if you want to differentiate between being connected via USB and Wi-Fi but one will keep it simple. Once you complete the install, open the app on your phone, press continue and open the app on your desktop as well. This one is so simple that you don't even need to enter your IP address like in other apps even if you are on the same network. It just connects automatically via Wi-Fi or you can use the USB cable to do so as well. By default, the resolution is set to auto and you can change it from here. You can select the resolution from the lowest to maximum 4K that is available on your phone. Every app that uses a webcam will now show you Irian webcam as a source for video feed. You can use this in all your meetings like Google Meet, Zoom, etc. Just go to video settings and switch to Irian webcam. You can also use this while streaming or for recording videos like I am right now. Just go to OBS, add a video capture device to your scene, select Irian webcam and you're good to go. The app also supports autofocus in its set of features by default without you needing the pro version. If you are concerned about the watermark on your feed, the watermark goes away almost instantly. If you are using the camera on the highest possible resolution, then it will cause the phone to heat up as well since it will also be using the resources of your phone like the processor for giving the feed to the system. So in order to use those make sure your device is plugged in but most of the time the high quality feed is not necessary. So what you can do is that reduce the capture quality to 1080p or to even further 720p if you are going to use it as a very small piece of feed on your live stream or you can just reduce it for the sake of meetings where a high resolution is not necessary. I hope you got this to work. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us. Until next time, be kind to everyone.